and gentlemen, it looks like what's going to happen is this tag team match that was supposed to happen between Street Street and Archie and Moondog is now a singles match between Johnny Kincaid and DC Shaw. This is crazy way to open the night, huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not quite sure what the hell has gotten into Johnny Kincaid tonight. Attacking IJ Sweet before I'm able to, even able to get their tag team's name out of my mouth. Hell, just attacking IJ Sweet in general. What was that? Is Archie up to some sort of master type of thing? I mean, last month they turned on Sweet just to begin with, right? Well, Archie and Moondog turned on IJ Sweet. Yeah. Archie, formerly known as Candy Deluxe, uh, attacked IJ Sweet along with Moondog Pongo just one month ago. And now... Johnny Kincaid has even turned his back yep. on IJ Sweet. Mr. Archie didn't know this was a tag team match to begin with. How do you come into a show like Brawloween and not realize you're supposed to be in a match? Exactly. This is Brawloween, and somehow Mr. Archie had no clue that he was wrestling today. I don't I don't I don't believe it. I'm just gonna say and, that right now. I don't believe it well, at all. Take a look at I or uh, excuse me at Johnny Kincaid. As IJ Sweet has taken himself to the back, Johnny Kincaid showing off his varsity track skills that he claims he has so desperately. And DC Shaw is now trying to find some way to pick himself back up in what, at least this far, has been a two-on-one situation. If Johnny Kincaid has varsity track skills, I was an Olympic gold medalist. No kidding there. We've got DC Shaw just eating some hard offense from Johnny Kincaid. DC Shaw able to get nothing against Johnny so far until now because here comes DC Shaw with an overhand oh. chop across the chest. Vicious chops. Oh, and a vicious overhand chop right there to boot. Those sting, I will tell you right now. Those, those take the air completely out of you. No kidding there, but Johnny Kincaid with a nice lariat. Johnny Kincaid picking up DC Shaw. Johnny Kincaid all of a sudden just turning his back on IJ Sweet, someone who considered Johnny a brother, and turning his back completely on the PWA fans. But you know what? I see a different side of Johnny Kincaid right here. He's being ruthless. He's being aggressive. He, it's like he's got a new purpose or a new mission tonight. No kidding there. Johnny Kincaid seems that being aligned... Did he just uh, well, spit okay. in the First middle off, of the spitting ring? in the middle of the ring. Look at this, the ultimate insult. The bulldog into the spit. Into the... I, in I'm the disgusted of the almost. Oh, but and Johnny Kincaid out. seems to think that aligning himself with someone who used to be the president of this company could get him anywhere. Somebody who virtually now has absolutely zero pull in this company. And now we're going with the noogie. Oh, now we got a reverse chin lock here. Yeah, it is kind of odd. You know, if Archie was still the president, you would think that maybe this would be a more realistic turn. But now with Archie not seeming to have the pull or the power that he used to, what kind of motives does he have here? Exactly. And you see, Johnny Kincaid has something that comes rare in some situations. Johnny Kincaid has two allies on the outside of the ring. Oh, yeah. Either of which could pull any sort of dirty tactic at any time, and especially Archie. Archie knows 100% how to win a match. Oh, Archie for sure knows how to win a match, how to deceive the ref, how to, you know, make somebody look the other way, and you got to be careful with that big old bone from Moondog. Anything could happen. Well, I should say, Archie knows how to help people win oh, matches. There you go. There you go. Because I don't think I've ever seen him win a match himself. Either way, Johnny Kincaid with that pounce right across the shoulder of DC Shaw, who seems to be out, yeah. dazed and confused, needs, as they I mean, might say. This is where you have to be. You got to go for the pin right here. You got a guy with a big. You hit a guy with a big move, and you just let him lay there. It's not no kidding. Smart. There. 
put him in the corner here and deliver some vicious chops of his own. This is absolutely crazy. This is absolutely, there, there's. If DC expects to do anything, he needs to, to find that. There we go, now we turn around. No kidding, but now DC Shaw with a forearm to the jaw. DC with the double knees to the face. And look at Archie. Archie's up on the ropes. Look at Archie climbing himself up onto the apron. It's a good thing the ref didn't see that. That, that could have easily been something that could have turned the tables back in Kincaid's hand. Oh, there's the knee to the back of the head. Oh, and now Archie's back Wait on a the second. ropes again. He's distracting the ref. And oh, oh, and there's nice a move. shot with the bone from Moondog Pongo on the opposite side. As Archie distracts the referee, Johnny Kincaid going to pick DC Shaw up for his Alabama slam. What did I say? I said you got to watch out for Moondog. And there you have it, folks. Johnny Kincaid. Ladies and gentlemen, your weeks. DC Shaw, thanks to a little bit of help, maybe from the outside. Stay right here as we have more PWA Halloween.